In this video, I'm going to talk with you about the best five climbing backpacks for 2021. I'm Amanda, and I'm a part of the Adventure Junkies team. We're on a mission to help make the outdoors more accessible to everyone. Our goal is to inspire people to value, understand, and protect our planet's ecosystems. If you want to learn more about what we do, or maybe how we can get you outdoors, check out our website at www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now, before we repeal our picks, let's chat for a second about what to look for when you're shopping for a climbing-specific backpack. The most important things to consider when choosing a climbing backpack includes the type of climbing you primarily plan on doing, how durable you'd like for the product to be, and how comfortably it fits, as well as any features you'd like for it to include. Climbing packs are generally broken down into these three categories, crag packs, follower packs, and alpine packs, although there are those specialty exceptions, such as haul bags, which I believe kind of fall into their own category anyway. Crag packs are designed for carrying your climbing gear on short approaches to crags, where you'll likely be posting up for the day or perhaps just moving to a different area. Follower packs are made for carrying a day's worth of supplies on those longer multi-pitch outings, intended to be worn by the follower of the pitch, hence the name. Alpine packs are, as you can probably guess, crafted to be streamlined and lightweight for carrying a large load and moving fast in the alpine. They also suffice as lighter weight options for leaders on multi-pitch climbs when a second pack is kind of needed. Now on to what you guys really tuned in for, our top 5 climbing backpack picks. Our first pick is our top overall rock climbing backpack, the Osprey Mutant 38. I know, this one was a bit surprising to me too, because Osprey is a top-notch hiking and backpacking brand, but hasn't really dabbled much in the rock climbing realm, until now. The Mutant 38 changes that narrative, and definitely earns its place as our top overall pick. Here are the reasons why. Osprey called in the guides and athletes for their input when designing this super specific piece of gear. The result is a capable, durable, and fully featured alpine specific pack, streamlined enough for or high performance on most mountaineering endeavors. To help reduce weight, starting with the back panel, Osprey did a really ingenious thing and split the single metal stay in half, then angled the two separate half stays in a V shape and ran them up either sides of the panel, making for an equal amount of support and shaving weight too. The frame sheet and stays are also completely removable, but you can leave the foam back panel in place. That's huge. That's perfect for shedding weight when you're going for the summit, but you still don't want to be uncomfortable, and that's pretty much inevitable when you're carrying pokey climbing gear in any sort of frameless pack. Osprey designed the Mutant triangularly with a wide top, which is ideal for stashing those extras you need to keep close on hand, like a puff coat. The last thing to mention is the narrow hip belt, which provides for great freedom of movement and is designed to sit out of the way while you're wearing a harness. An added bonus, the pack itself actually features handy gear loops on the padded portion of the hip belt. What I like most about the Mutant 38 is that the helmet carry is removable instead of being sewn into the lid, so it allows me to shed weight and leave the lid behind when I'm carrying the helmet on the front of my pack. What I don't care for about the Mutant is that despite its streamlined design, it's still not as lightweight as comparable Alpine packs, weighing in at over 3 pounds with the lid on. And its weight to volume ratio could definitely be better, but I'd say for Osprey, this is a great start. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Whether you're just starting out on your climbing foray or you've been sending hard routes for years. Now before we present our second product, I have just one favor to ask of you. If you would take a second out of your day, simply right now maybe while you're watching this, and hit the like button below. We're a small self-sustaining team with big dreams here over at the Adventure Junkies and every little like really makes a big difference. But more importantly, your engagement helps us reach other people who might be interested in this kind of information too. So thank you in advance. You are really the ones helping us get this channel going and we're stoked for the things to come. They're big, so stay tuned. And now I'll stop my rambling and go ahead and present the second product already. Seriously though, thanks for watching. Our second backpack is the best option for those of you climbers on a budget, the REI Co-op Flash 18. For less than $50, you'd be hard pressed to find a higher quality climbing pack that has a bunch of useful features like daisy attachment points and an ice axe loop. 
Aria offers the Flash in both 18 liter and 22 liter capacity options, but I found the 18 to be more useful on climbing expeditions, at least for me. Both do feature a top draw cord closure system that's easy to operate with one hand, and the pack is hydration compatible, a feature that I personally find essential for climbing packs. The back panel is lightly padded and removable, so you can take it out and use it as a sit pad, or dog pad, whatever. The hip and sternum straps are removable as well. There's an exterior zippered pocket and loops for lashing on extra gear, which is kind of nice if you don't have enough space in the interior. What I like most about the REI Flash 18 is that it's made with all Blue Sign approved materials, something new, which helps to conserve resources and protect both the health of the environment and the workers making our products. What I don't care for about this pack is that it's not the most durable pack. Made from 140 denier nylon, the Flash definitely can't hold up to the same abuse when compared to many other options on this list. That boasts 900 denier construction, and then some. But that it's, that's its only downside that I can think of. Our third climbing backpack is the best choice for wearing on ultralight alpine expeditions. The Arc'teryx Alpha FL30. When you need to haul a decent amount of gear and still move fast, look to the FL30. Arc'teryx designed the Alpha as a minimalist pack that allows you to utilize literally every inch of space on the interior. The Alpha FL30 is every alpinist's fantasy, a medium capacity pack for carrying more gear than most follower packs allow for, but with that coveted, sleek, lidless, top-loading design. This 30-liter pack actually expands to accommodate up to 37 liters of gear, simply by opening up the roll-top closure, making it ideal for stashing those a few extra energy bars and a couple layers maybe you'd like to keep on top. The top strap also doubles as a compression cinch, allowing you to tighten things up and keep you from falling off balance while you're climbing. The 400 denier ripstop nylon is highly abrasion resistant and will definitely hold its own while tackling even the tightest of squeeze chimneys. What I like most about this climbing backpack is how water resistant it is, thanks in part to super well taped seams and watertight zippers. What I don't care for about the Alpha FL30 is how expensive it is at $200, although you can sometimes get lucky and find it on sale. In addition, it's only available in one size, which limits how well it's going to fit a wide range of climbers. The fourth climbing backpack on our list is best suited for wearing on those long cragging days, the Black Diamond Creek 20. If you're looking for a workhorse that skimps on the features and goes heavy on durability, the Creek 20 is calling your name. Black Diamond's mission for the Creek 20 was to make something burly, simple, and versatile. And this backpack is exactly that. Constructed from hefty 1200 denier polyester, you could likely drag this pack on pavement behind a car with minimal resulting damage. A molded back panel and padded shoulder and hip straps ensure this workhorse remains comfortable to wear both on the approach and on the wall. Although this haul style bag might not seem like a good option for wearing while climbing, it actually is comfortable to climb in. And the only standard feature that it lacks that most other climbing backpacks have is a dedicated hydration reservoir. Although you can totally make that work out in a pinch. Trust me. Features are minimal, but the Creek 20 does have sternum strap buckle that doubles as a whistle, a zippered interior pocket, and a key clip too. What I like most about the Creek 20 is that the Black Diamond Creek series is actually named after one of my favorite places, the renowned Indian Creek crack climbing destination, a testament to its durability because the creek is known for being hard on both climbing gear and climber's fingers. What I don't care for about this climbing backpack is how heavy it is, weighing in at nearly 2 pounds. This limits its overall versatility, as I wouldn't want to carry something this heavy while, say, leading a multi-pitch route after a 5 mile approach. Our last pick for the best climbing backpack of 2021 is the perfect follower pack, the Black Diamond Rock Blitz 15. When you need a reliable, follower-specific type pack that protects your gear and holds its own in harsh conditions, the durable Blitz is sure to meet your every need. This backpack features an impressively durable 840 denier nylon construction, which is kind of crazy, especially for a product that costs under $70. There's a foam padded back panel and padded shoulder straps, which help keep you comfy throughout the day. 
Black Diamond shaped this pack like a bullet and designed it to ride up high on your back to keep your gear close and cinched into your body and ensure you maintain your balance through those tricky cruxes. It does a good job of staying out of the way of your harness, too. What I like most about the Rock Blitz 15 is the top drawstring opening that cinches closed with one hand, making for a great option for reaching in and fishing for snacks at belay ledges, for example. What I don't care for about this pack is the combination of how expensive and heavy it is in comparison to other more affordable alternatives on this list. If you want to check out any of these climbing backpacks for yourself, simply look for the links. They're all included in the product descriptions below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're confused about what gear to bring hiking, or maybe you've wasted money on gear in the past that just wasn't right for you, you definitely need to get a copy of this book. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Hiking Gear, and we created it with the total beginner in mind. You will learn what gear you actually need so you can safely enjoy your time outdoors. It covers all that you need to know, from how to choose each item to specific product product recommendations, depending on your gender, budget, place you plan on going hiking, and more. You can buy it on Amazon, and it's available in both Kindle and paperback versions. Check out the link in the description below. Happy hiking!